wise person has dissolved his individuality and therefore there is no one to receive shraddha therefore for a wise person shraddha tarpana not required but the swami ji why are you celebrating every day every year every year this uh, particular month i don't remember the month but in that ekadashi we celebrate ekadashi we commemorate swami ji samaradhana day See, if swami ji is a wise person his individuality dissolves why are we doing not for swami ji this for ourselves in case of ignorant jiva we do for them of course it will bless us also but in case of ignorant jiva we give shraddha so in case he is not he has not got another body he will get some tarpana we will get some gratification it is purely based on shraddha but in case of a wise person it is not required you don't require any shraddha tarpana etc for a wise person in fact if a wise person is a sanyasi he has done his shraddha when he takes sanyasa so we have already done shraddha for three generation mother side three generation father side and for one son seven generation we have done shraddha then we take sanyasa therefore we don't require we don't require or shodashi etc also not required we are doing it for getting inspiration and bringing sadhus remembering the glory for that drashta phalam it is good but really speaking the thing is required if you take that person as a wise person but if you have a doubt maybe my guru did not get wisdom by chance and therefore if he, i don't do shraddha tarpana then guru will haunt me and <laughs> therefore i do it that is okay so guru is or wise person is brahma nirvanam adhigachyati complete merger so we have to ask this question to ourselves am i ready for that am i ready to let go my individuality means afterwards i cannot have any such joy going to swarga going to switzerland england all this all will be gone am i ready for that many people will say no no sir uh, not this janma next janma then okay shastra will say okay shastra says you see you have taken already so many janmas for more janma oh, that's okay but come with this readiness that this individuality will be dissolved so you cannot expect swami ji this janma i am so busy with so many things next janma in fact one person wrote to me he said swami ji i have decided i will pursue moksha in next janma <laughs> ah, really I, this is the person he said swami ji i am following the dharma aspect of hinduism moksha aspect of hinduism i will follow in next janma i felt like writing that why are you postponing you can start now but no so okay suppose you say that uh, i i will not follow moksha in this janma but i will follow in next janma and next janma also swami ji you become my guru you also take one more janma phir janam lenge hum so they like that that is not if guru is atmak dani for him no more janma and uh, he will not just laugh when you say like this he will laugh so brahma nirvana means complete dissolution of individuality that is why we say that vedanti is the humblest in his approach because in all other the vada dvaita vishishta vada they main they retain their individuality in dvaita also jiva bhava continues i experience ishvara people say that i don't want to become a sugar i want to enjoy sugar crystal so in advaita you are saying you are brahman i am not interested in being brahman i am interested in enjoying brahman so as long as the enjoyership this obsession is there then moksha is not possible so in dvaita they retain individuality in vishishta advaita also in a way they retain their individuality i am amsha but individuality is retained whereas in advaita vedanta we say individuality is mithya is really not there 
and at the time of videha mukti completely dissolve so that is called brahma nirvanam videha mukti so here in this mantra nana phalam the result of nanam when you are alive what is the result you are happy with yourself what a big achievement samsara is one definition of samsara is dependence upon the world to be happy that is samsara you ask yourself how many things you require to be happy so many things this electricity electricity should be okay then internet should be okay then uh, this newspaper wala should be okay so many things should be okay for me to be okay whereas wisdom gives you that freedom presence and absence of things do not matter as far as happiness is concerned and that inner fullness independence is the benefit of nanam and at the time of the fall of the body there is complete merger into brahma all right now in the next shloka similar topic is discussed with certain stages of sadhana लभंते ब्रह्म निर्वाण ऋषय क्षीणकलमशाहूतहिता लभंते ब्रह्म निर्वाण ऋषय क्षीणकलमशा छिन्नद्वैद यथात्न सर्वूतहितेरता सो इन दिस श्लोका वेरियस साधना एंड दि अल्टिमेट बेनिफिट ऑफ दि साधना ऑफ ज्ञान इज प्रेजेंटेड सो फॉर अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी विल टेक दि वर्ड्स ऑफ दि श्लोका इन अ पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्डर द फर्स्ट वन इज सर्वूतहितेरता Rataha means engaged, happily engaged, engaged with interest in what? Sarva bhuta hite in the well-being of all living beings. Means a person cares for the totality. Person is mindful about the well-being of totality. Many people know when they enter. they will enter they are late and they enter they enter with so much noise not mindful about others when they go to the dining hall and if they if something is less let me grab first let me grab let anything happen to others whereas sarva bhuta hite rataha means let everybody be happy and here bashyakara says अहिंसका मीन्स नॉट हर्टिंग एनी वन दिस इज द मिनिमम थिंग यू कैन डू इफ यू कैन नॉट मेक अदर्स हैप्पी एटलीस्ट डोंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू देअर अनहैपीनेस दैट इज अ मिनिमम थिंग सो विथ युअर बॉडी विथ युअर स्पीच विथ युअर माइंड डोंट हर्ट एनी वन डोंट इवन थिंक इल ऑफ अदर्स even momentarily the thought comes let that fellow suffer immediately you pray for that person no no let that person be happy very difficult but that is what sadhaka's lakshana is not hurting anyone through body through speech or through the mind and whatever i can do for others when they are suffering or otherwise for their well being i do it and sometimes if you cannot do anything at least you pray for them at least every day evening before we go to bed we say sarve bhavantu sukhinah let all be happy let there be thought of this thought of well being of others you will feel good about it so you see that when you pray for wellness of others then you feel good about it because you are in harmony and harm you are in harmony means you are in 
order of Ishvara, order of Dharma, and therefore you become happy. So the first spiritual, the requirement to be a sadhaka of knowledge is sarva bhuta hite radaha, not hurting anyone and doing something whatever we can do for the well-being of others. And second thing is kshina kalmashaha means those who have reduced their impurities. Impurity can be in the form of papam, impurity in the form of ragadveshas, reduced. How? By karma yoga. So karma yoga can be defined as life of contribution with proper attitude. Means we focus more and more contribution. How I can contribute? In every relationship, the focus is what I can give. Try to be richer by giving, not by grabbing. This is our Vedika Samskriti. In other culture, he said, you grab and be rich. Whereas we say, give and be rich. So, giving, so life of contribution with attitude of worshipping the Lord through contribution. That is Karma Yoga. Even in spouse and I generally say that marriage, those who are getting married, I always tell them that don't focus on that he has to make me happy, she has to make me happy. You can say what I can do to contribute to other person's happiness. You don't take charge of making other person happy. That is not in your hand. But at least from your side, there is a readiness to contribute to somebody's happiness, somebody's well-being, somebody's comfort. That is, that is how the rich relationship will be rich. When there is a, a demanding relationship, means I demand, both sides they are demanding, then there will be quarrel. And therefore, every relationship, let it be the avenue for giving. Of course, there is no compulsive giving or we connect with our self-worth with giving, etc. Those are other issues. But the mind is what can I contribute? Because Swamiji used to say, when I see a person, I think, what I can do? I always think, what I can do for the person? Can I do anything for the person? Generally, samsari way of looking at it, when I meet the person, how I can utilize this person? Can I utilize in his business? Can I uh, utilize for my son's education? Can I utilize for uh, this spreading my my brother's business, something like that. But this saintly way of looking at it, what can I do for you? Genuinely. And Puja Swamiji used to say very nicely, even though I cannot do something for the person, I always think I can do something, but even if I am not able to do something, because that person has got some different requirement, my desire, my wish to do something for that person doesn't go away. Even when I cannot do something for the person, my wish to do something. Right now I am not able to do it, but I wish to do something for you. That is the life of contribution. And by that life of contribution with the attitude of offering the karma to the Lord, person becomes Kshina Kalmashaha. Kalmasha has got both the meanings, as I said, Papam and Ragadveshas. So, by reading the life of contribution, Papam is reduced, Ragadveshas also reduced. Then next one is Yatatmanaha, having the mastery over the body mind is complex. That is the suggestion of the life of Upasana, Yoga and Upasana. Nowadays, people have got there is a problem in sitting on the floor, sitting for half, more than 45 minutes, so I cannot sit, Swabiji. More than one hour, I cannot sit. So, so much, you know, uh, what is called helplessness. So, body is fit and the mind is available for the pursuit I want to focus on. That is called Yatatmana. 
and that is possible by doing some upasana meditation and that meditation can be in the form of mental japa also every day spending 5 10 minutes thinking about ishvara even through japa that is yatatmana and then rushayaha rushaha means wise people they become jnaninah so rushanti jananti iti rushayaha so they become these wise people and then chinna dvedaha all doubts are resolved so rushayaha indicates the sadhana of shravanam because of which they attain jnanam and chinna dveda means all doubts are resolved the sadhana of mananam is in, is suggested and then by that shravanam is done rushayaha suggested by rishay chinna dvaita is suggesting this samshaya nivrutti and we can by extension viparita bhavana nivrutti and therefore finally what brahma nirvanam labante they attain jivan mukti and they attain vidya mukti brahma nirvanam is oneness with brahman they attain when they are alive oneness they continue to attain when there is a fall of the body so in this shloka all stages of sadhanas starting with the life of dharma sarva bhuta ite rataha means life of dharma and then karma yoga upasana shravana manana nidhyasanam and finally jnana phalam which is brahma nirvana in the next shloka also similar ideas are given we will see in the next class om purnamad पूर्णमिद पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम